I'm Grant McKeach. I'm the Park Supervisor for the Town of East Quillenberry. In a previous video we showed you how to control uh, LDD or Gypsy Moth caterpillars by placing burlap on the trunk of the tree to stop them from climbing the trunk and eating leaves. Uh, at this time of the year uh, we have egg mass. So I'm going to show you in this video how we're going to remove egg mass uh, in an attempt to prevent uh, as many caterpillars the following spring. So the gypsy moth looks very much like this. Uh, they're oval in nature. Uh, when they're around the size of a loony, you can hold up to a thousand eggs or caterpillars. So the egg mass on the tree uh, can typically be found on the underside of the branches, also on the leaves, uh, as well as on the main trunk. You might find them on uh, firewood logs, on ladders left on the ground, on other plants, um, and, and obviously they can also be on the leaves of the tree. So, you know, raking uh, the leaves up around the tree is another control method for the caterpillar. So it's really important to remove uh, whatever you can, uh, because again, that's less uh, caterpillars uh, climbing up the trunk into uh, the tree and munching on leaves the following spring. We're going to talk about removal now. Um, you need to find yourself uh, something like a putty knife, uh, but any scraper will do, uh, and obviously a container to contain the, the egg mass. Uh, we don't want it to fall to the ground because those eggs can potentially hatch out in the spring, so you're not really uh, removing them at all. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do the removal. Uh, you're going to basically place your container under the uh, egg mass and scrape that into the, the container. Uh, trying to avoid damaging any bark uh, and trying to get as much of the egg mass as possible and the best way to uh, make sure that we're destroying the egg mass is to place them in a bucket of soapy water for at least two days or 48 hours and this will ensure that uh, they are in fact dead. So just one further note, uh, it, it's a good idea to wear gloves to protect your, your hands and your skin uh, to avoid any sort of rash uh, when contacting uh, the egg mass.